Today in our 2007 Honda Odyssey, we're going to install the Curt inch and a quarter trailer hitch receiver for number C12031. This is what the Curt trailer hitch looks like installed in your Honda Odyssey. As you can see, it has a nice round tube design that connects to the side brackets that goes from one side to another. It has a nice black powder coat finish that's going to resist rust and corrosion. And one of the best things about this hitch is you just use well nuts and one carriage bolt into the frame of your vehicle to install it. Here on the front, you have your inch and a quarter opening, your half inch pinhole, so you can put your pin in once you get whatever accessory you're towing. You also have access to your chain hold downs here. This hitch is rated at 350 pounds of tongue weight and 3,500 pounds of towing capability. You always wanna double check your manufacturer specifications for your vehicle and go with whatever is lower, whether the hitch or the vehicle rating. Now I'll go ahead and give you some measurements and help choosing some accessories for your new hitch. From the center of our hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper is two and three quarter inches. And from the top of the receiver tube to the ground is 14 inches. That'll help you choosing accessories such as ball mounts, bike racks, or cargo carriers. Now I'll go ahead and show you how the hitch is installed. To start our install, I'll point out the mounting locations. Here on the driver's side, there will be two well nuts here in the frame and another hole right behind it that a carriage bolt and block will go through. On the passenger side, there's two well nuts that are our mounting locations right here and right here. Now over time, the well nuts can fill up with rust, dust, dirt, and debris. So we need to go ahead and use some spray lubricant, spray those out and use a two brush, part number 814092 to clean those out. Do that for both sides. Then we'll take a bolt, thread in there just to make sure it goes nicely into the well nuts in the frame. Go ahead and do that at all four of the well nut locations. The mounting hardware here for the passenger side will be the hex head bolt and conical tooth washer that comes with the kit. The teeth of the washer need to face the hitch, so it'll go through the hitch and into our well nuts. For two of the three mounting locations on the driver's side, it'll be the same hardware, the hex head bolt and conical tooth washer that'll go through the hitch into the well nuts. And then for our last mounting location, which will install the hardware once the hitch is in place, it'll get a square spacer block and a carriage bolt. That'll get fed through the frame through the access hole here and out this hole and it'll get attached with a flange nut. Now we'll go ahead and get an extra set of hands to help us put our hitch into position. Now the nice thing about this hitch is if you don't have an extra set of hands, you can go ahead and use the exhaust to help you hold the hitch up while you install the hardware. You just feed the passenger side up over the exhaust and that'll hold the weight of it on that side and we can install the hardware here on the driver's side. Now once you get one of the bolts and conical tooth washers here started in the well nut, that'll hold the weight of the hitch so you can install the rest of your hardware. Go ahead and get the hardware started here on the driver's side. And now we'll go install our hex head bolts and conical tooth washers on the passenger side. Now we need to go ahead and put our carriage block and bolt into the frame. We'll take the pull wire that comes with our install kit, put it into the hole that our hardware will come out of and into the, and out through the access hole in the frame right here. It does help sometimes put a little bit of a bend in it just so it helps it feed through the frame and down. Feed the block on first. and then thread on your carriage bolt. Now we'll remove the pull wire and install our flange nut. Now with all our hardware installed, we'll go ahead and tighten it down and then torque it as specified in the instructions. Now with our hitch installed, we're ready to hit the road. And that'll do it for the install of the Curt one and a quarter inch trailer hitch receiver, part number C12031 on our 2007 Honda Odyssey.